Hello and welcome. Welcome to the channel that is all about the Father's business. I'm your host, Evangelist Nichols. We are here today, once again, to discuss a word of God for the people of God. Praise God. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in the holy name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, do I come. I come today to lift up your name, to allow, to, to give you glory, to give you praise, and to honor you. But most of all, I want to thank you for this precious moment that we have, Father, to share in the good news to the people of God and the world. God, we give you all the praise, honor, and glory this day. It's in Jesus' mighty, holy, and majestic name do we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Today, saints, we will be talking and discussing a word of God from the book of Mark 1 and 3. Praise God. So um, right now I'm going to go to 1 and 3. And it says, a voice of one calling in the desert. Praise God. There is a voice of one that is calling in the desert. And that was John the Baptist. Praise God. The Bible says that John the Baptist came to prepare the way and to, uh, to warn the people. John didn't just come to prepare the way for, for the king. He came also to warn the people. To warn the people to turn from their wicked ways, to turn from their sins and repent. Praise God and receive Jesus and accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So today we're going to talk about John the Baptist. John the Baptist, he came and when he came, he was he urged the people. He urged the people to to turn from the things that they were doing, from the way that they were treating one another and the, the things that they were uh into and he tried to allow the people to know uh, warn them that the Lord was on his way and that he was coming praise God and um John the John the Baptist was a prophet and he urged people to confess their sins and live for God amen and so today what I'm saying to you it's time to turn from our wicked ways. It's time to acknowledge Jesus as our Lord and Savior. It's time to pick up the cross and begin to walk. It's time to pick up our weapons and begin to walk with God and put on the armor of God today. Because we're living today in a time where people are just doing everything and anything they want to do. But see, one thing I have to ask you today, are you preparing yourself for the King? Are you preparing yourself for the coming king? Are you preparing yourself? Praise God. Are you are you getting ready? Are you getting your house in order? Praise God. Are you making sure that you mirror yourself and that you look like like Christ? Praise God. So as John the Baptist came, I'm coming. Jesus sent me to tell you. Yes, oh yes. He sent me to tell you to get ready. Praise God, because the king is soon to come. We know not what time the king is coming, but we must be ready. We must be in right standing because however God finds you, that's how you're going down when he cracks that sky. If he finds you loaded down in sin, he says where he's at, you cannot come. So praise God, always be ready to give an account to whoever that comes into your life. When it comes to speaking God's word, be bold for Christ. Let people know that God lives in you. Let people know that he is the way, the truth, and the life. Saints, we are in this world. We are not of this world. This is not our home. We're just here for a short time. Praise God. So with that being said, we need to continue to mirror ourselves and make sure that we're looking like God. Make sure we're not full of sin. Make sure we're not loaded down with stuff that just doesn't belong to us. If if it's not your assignment, don't touch it. If it's not for you to do, don't do it. Know your portion. Know your destiny. Know where you're aiming. It's time for preparation, saints. It's time to prepare yourself for the kingdom of God because the kingdom of God is at hand. Praise God. Amen. Thank you for sharing it today with us. And would you please, at the bottom of the page, leave me a comment. 
leave uh, I would like for you to share subscribe and please hit the notification button please and um, thank you once again for being blessed and, and uh, I pray that you it was a blessing to you and you received the word of the living God it's in Jesus name do I pray amen